As quick as I make one video and an update on Mayhem 2.0, which if you missed you'll find a link to within the video description, Gearbox drop another post with details on the new event which arrives on April 23rd with Mayhem 2.0 called The Revenge of the Cartels. They drop a quick guide which we'll get into with all the details in a quick second. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So Gearbox not long dropped a post on Mayhem 2.0 with all the details in which you would probably want to know. Again, that video you'll find linked within that video description, but they've also dropped another post with details on the Revenge of the Cartel. They title it a quick guide into this new event. So let's get straight into it, people. Check out Revenge of the Cartels, the new Borderlands 3 seasonal event, bringing you limited time loot and rewards. Soak up some rays, rock those neon colors, and bust crime like in the 80s in Revenge of the Cartel. The free seasonal event happening in Borderlands 3 from April 23rd to June 4th. Revenge of the Cartel features an all new area, fresh enemy types, limited time challenges and of course tons of gear to collect including new legendaries and anointments. In his continued studies of human customs, your Saurian crewmate Maurice has gotten himself mixed up with the wrong crowd and now finds himself indebted to Joey Ultraviolet, the kingpin of the Iridium Cartel. To save Maurice's scaly hide, you'll need to take the fight to Joey and his gangs of underlings at Villa Ultraviolet, an opulent hideout overlooking a tropical paradise. Travelling to Villa Ultraviolet The first time you log in during Revenge of the Cartels, you'll get a repeatable quest from Maurice Abroad Sanctuary 3 that must be completed in order to reach Villa Ultraviolet. During the event, Neon Golden Cartel operative enemies can be found lurking around the galaxy including areas from campaign add-ons. When you kill an operative, a dead man's switch signal is sent to their cohorts, and some cartel thugs will warp in to avenge their slain comrade. Be on guard because cartel thugs might be also accompanied by one of the Iridium cartel's underbosses. These are unique, badass level enemies belonging to one of the cartel's three gangs. More on those in a bit. Eliminating these reinforcements will net you hideout coordinates. Once you've collected enough of these, Maurice can open up a portal that leads directly to Villa Ultraviolet. Going up against Iridium Cartel gangs. Once you make it to Villa Ultraviolet, you'll have to battle your way through hordes of Iridium Cartel members belonging to one of three distinct gangs. You might encounter the tech-obsessed cyborgs of CryptoSec, the meat sharing debt collectors of the Burnt Ends, or the Iridium Dust Runners known as the Perpetrators. Each gang has their own underbosses, who you'll need to take down in addition to Joey Ultraviolet himself. And each gang has its own legendary loot pool, so multiple visits to Villa Ultraviolet are highly encouraged. Every time you clear out Villa Ultraviolet, one of the other gangs will rise to fill the power vacuum, so you won't take on the same gang twice in a row. Maybe you'll be lucky enough to find gear with anointments that trigger bonuses when you first activate your action skill or new legendary weapons like the OP Q system, which sounds amazing because we know the Q system is quite powerful and the OP Q system, which is also has a state here in the assault rifle that can shoot an auto firing copy of itself targeting whatever you're looking at. That's absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to see what that is. So that sounds pretty cool. Revenge of the Cartel's seasonal rewards. In addition to each gang's new loot, Revenge of the Cartel's introduced a new set of limited time challenges you can complete to earn themed cosmetic rewards. There are 18 challenges in all that are only available while Revenge of the Cartel's is live, and you can track your progress via the event tab in your Echo device menu. Here's a breakdown of the cosmetic items you'll collect depending on how many event challenges you've completed. 3 challenges, Vector Graphics Echo Device Skin, 6 challenges, Retro Outrunner Weapon Trinket 10 challenges, Framed Firewall Room Decoration 14 challenges, Hotline Pandora Vault Hunter Head 18 challenges, Death by Filigree's Vault Hunter Skin Sounds cool! As with other seasonal events, you can turn the event on or off at any time between its start and end dates via an option in the main menu. In multiplayer, the host choice will determine if the group sees Revenge of the Cartel's content. Revenge of the Cartel will kick off via a patch on Thursday, April 23rd, that is scheduled to run for 6 weeks, ending June 4th. Good luck taking down the Iridium Cartel. Vault Hunter, Joey Ultraviolet and his gangs won't know what hit him. 
So yes guys, those are details and a new event coming with Mayhem 2.0 this Thursday. So it's going to be a massive, massive day for all us BR3 players and I cannot wait to dive deep into it and bring you guys all the details you need to know about it. So yes guys, this Thursday we will be getting Mayhem 2.0, 10 new Mayhem levels as well as the Revenge of the Cartels event. Oh, I cannot wait. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. Let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Well guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.